Hello, Dr. Mitters here. So let's talk about Chapter 3's assignment called Buzz Buttons. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and run it and we'll go ahead and take a look at it. So this one's going to ask for several items for going to have to be input. So first, um, the, the Buzz Buttons is an organization company fictitious that creates buttons on for a lapel and so a little bit of background it's in the it's in the this in the book actually so you can look at that too but what name would you like on the button we'll say funny button doesn't matter what it is what's your email address you can say anything but it, it's looking for an email address in this form so at something at something.com um, it's not going to really send an email to it it's just going to be used as a you're just going to store that in a variable so it's a placeholder. Actually, we theoretically could send an email message to someone. So think about this from a broader perspective. you got a website that you want to sell stuff on, and you can use something like this to grab user input to get an email address from a customer, let's say, and then they want to order something and ship them an order. So this is real-life stuff. So uh, what they one of the buttons. I'd probably ask for more information like their name and address, but this is getting us started for this one. Um, for this assignment, you only have to do what it's asked for, and this is the name name that wants to go on the button, um, and the email address, and a button is just an item for sale. And then you also want, what's really important is the quantity of buttons, and they're 99 cents each. So let's say we want 10. Now, in, if you remember, they're 99 cents each. We have a 6% tax rate on that, on that total, that subtotal. We also have a $2 flat uh, shipping charge. So we've got to account for all that stuff, and then give them the result. So, welcome to Buzz Buttons. It starts the buzz. Number of buttons order was 10. Um, 10 times 99 cents is 990. The tax on 900, 990 is going to be uh, roughly 60 cents, 59 cents, um, 6.06 .06 flat shipping fee. So, this times 99 is that right there. Hint, hint. And then that subtotal times the tax rate of 0 0.06 yields the 6%. So you're going to add up the 990, the 59 cents, the $2, and get that result right there. And you're not really going to email anything, but it is it is using that data, or it is requesting, requiring that data. Okay? Um, I'm going to stop this for a minute. And then next we'll peek at the pseudocode. Pseudocode looks sort of like this. Uh, you've got the declarations. Notice that there's a tax rate of 99 cents. I'm sorry, an item price of 99 cents. We can change that later. These are constants. 6% tax rate. And you also got a, what you got down here? You've got a um, $2 shipping fee. And then what you're going to do is you're going to display some information. What do you want the email address to be? What do you want the customer name to be? Um, I'm sorry, not customer name. Yeah, what name would you like on the buttons? I just said funny buttons. So you're going to get some data in, display what you want them to do, and then well, display what you want them to enter in, and then also account for that. So you're going to display an input for the name on the buttons, display an input for the email. And this is the important part, 99 cents for per button. All right, and you're going to input the buttons, and then you're going to compute them. Think about this. The button total is equal to number of buttons times the price. And the sales total is equal to button total times the sales rate of 6%. Then you're going to have the order total comprised of all three, and then you're going to print all that stuff out. All right? That's the pseudocode. In lab four, you've got to do both pseudocode activity 4-4, I believe, and then JavaScript 4-5. Um, whoops. A couple little things to be aware of is in, you may have to use pars int or pars float for the assignment for the um, actual JavaScript. Okay, just be aware of that because you're going to have to get a numeric in there. Okay. Uh, pause for a minute. So just so you can see this a little bit, this is only part of it. I haven't calculated all of it. Uh, t some of the calculations have not have been removed for you to work through. Um, so you got some variable declaration. This is the actual JavaScript variable declaration. You're going to document write 
just a kind of a heading line. You're going to get the name on the buttons. You're going to get the customer email, the number of buttons. Notice they're parsing it, parse integer, because um, you can't have fractional buttons. If you did, if you had fractional components, you'd do parse float. You're going to do the calc you're going to get this data in, and the key right here is the buttons, the number of buttons. Then you're going to do the calculation of the subtotal, which is the item price times the number of buttons. Then you're going to get the tax on that. Then you're going to get order total, which is going to be uh, the $2 flat fee plus 99 cents times the number of items, and then the 6% tax rate on that. And there we go. Okay, uh, we're done with that. Dr. Meadows out. Have a great day. Thank you.